I'm a rotisserie chicken. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Dead Kings podcast. We are trying something new today so you can see all of our smiling faces. Well, two out of three. And uh, today I'm joined with Brady. What's up, guys? Who's here remotely. Well, obviously we're all remote. He is joined (laughs) now from Alaska. Uh, Forrest, the lazy pool down there. He is about 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from me. And I'm your host, TS Cosplay. We're trying something new. Today we are talking about the new Suicide Squad movie. Um... So we're gonna we're kind of gonna just jump around, um, and just kind of give give our thoughts and feelings and whatnot about how things went down, um, and uh, yeah. So I'm actually just like really hyped that we can do it this way. So I kind of like yeah, it's cool. I think it turned out like better than we thought. I think we had initially planned. Yeah, yeah. For a first attempt, it looks pretty awesome to me. Yeah, hopefully it hopefully it stays this way. Um, anyway, so we'll kind of just go like. We'll go in a U. So we'll go Forrest, then Brady, then back to me. Um, so Forrest, what were your uh what were your thoughts on the new Suicide Squad movie? Um I really, really liked it. I hated a few things about it. Uh, but I, I can get into that more later. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really good. It was a like fuck like freaking um thirty steps up from It's a rated R movie, you can cuss. It's a rated R movie. You you can yeah. cuss. Fuck the Jared Leto <laughs> Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> this one was like thirty steps above that shit. Mm. What about you, Brady? I I really liked it. I'm gonna agree with uh Forrest. It was better than the first one. Um it, it seemed like based off the first one, I, I wanna say that they learned from some of their mistakes and honestly had a better idea of what to run with now mm. and so I, I do agree it was it was a lot better i enjoyed this one a lot better um and it was it was cool it was honestly really cool i, I liked it and i'm glad that they did a second suicide squad i honestly thought it was going to be a one and done movie and i'm just really glad that um we got to see it continue mm. okay so my opinions on it are i had i had a fun ride i personally i didn't hate the first suicide squad movie just for the fact that I didn't know what to expect. I never really uh, paid attention to Suicide Squad. I don't know a lot or didn't know a lot about Suicide Squad. I know there's a ton of people who are in it. Like Deathstroke's in it. He shows up. Um, mm-hmm. So that kind of made that kind of made what happened at the beginning of this one make sense. But I'm still not a fan of that. So we'll, we'll kind of run down between each like high point in the movie and then kind of give our thoughts on what happened. So at the beginning, they introduced Savant. Thoughts on how they handled Savant. Forrest, go ahead. Um, I thought he was going to be more in a part of the story, to be honest, because mm-hmm. they gave him such a big intro, the freaking bouncing the ball around the walls like Deadshot and uh, apparently Bloodsport uh-huh. with the whole accuracy thing and killing the, the bird for some weird reason. Yeah, that was weird. Um, But I... I wanted to see more of him. All he really did was just kind of stand there, and then when shit hit the fan, he tried to bugger off. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like it was a missed opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you, Brady? But once again, I have to agree with Forrest and you guys. Like, it, it was a total missed opportunity. They hype him up with the, the bird killing. I was like, okay, this dude's like savage. Like, what's this dude going to be? Is he going to be like a key component? You know, like, because. I could see Savant being that character where he either goes one of two ways. Either he's super helpful or he totally backstabs him. Yeah. And, and, and it like, and especially the actor himself, um, he's played in some pretty big stuff and been big key characters. And so I feel like it was almost, I feel like it was a waste of money to bother having him. Like he was on for like such a short amount of time. And then he, he goes away. It's like, why did you bother even getting the actor then? You, he, it could have been anybody. Exactly. You know, Michael Roker. They, they freak her. Michael Rooker. Yeah. Michael Roker. Michael yeah, Rooker. Exactly. Well, Merle like, Dixon. Yondu. Like, yeah. yeah. He's an expensive person to hire, I'm assuming. So why not use them to their full potential? And personally, I think James Cameron needs to stop killing him off because he, he played Yondu, got to kill him as Yondu. <laughs> and now, like, that's so annoying. Like, it's just so... I don't like how, again, just the beginning of it kind of made sense, I guess, with how expendable everybody was. Um, 
black, I can't remember his name, but Pete Davidson's character, the guy who got it, who ratted on him and got his mm-hmm. face shot off. Oh yeah. I kind oh, of, geez. I wanted to see more of him just cause I, I've started liking Pete Davidson more, but it mm-hmm. was really, 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 really annoying how he just, it was kind of like they were throwaway characters, but at the same time, like with how big the suicide squad is, it makes sense. Um, but there was just just that inch the when everyone was dying and then TDK we'll talk about that TDK yeah. I hated him I hated him so he much like, yeah me. and he just goes he's like let me just slap some people a little bit I'll just slappy 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 you know and they're like what the heck so I kind of think I think what happened with this is I think that maybe watching it the second time I think that was kind of James Gunn kind of nudging or kind of winking at um the DCEU for how they treat their characters. They have so much build up to stuff only for nothing to happen. You know what I mean? Like the DCEU yeah, yeah. itself is like notorious for that. Like I just feel like I I just like but yeah, that that scene was really really weird how his bones pop off. I was like that What? It was like an action figure, dude. Yeah, it was so weird. It was so weird, but um and then we'll talk about the greatest part of the Suicide Squad. My boy Weasel. My no, boy Weasel, no. dude. I loved Weasel so much. I don't even care that he didn't even do anything. He was he's still alive. He's... He did an awesome belly flop from like 30 feet in the air. And lived. Like, are you kidding? It was probably higher than that, to be completely honest. It looked more like 50 to 70 feet. Just saying. Oh, uh, and he lived, but uh but th- then we have, um, so everybody dies essentially. Like other than Harley and Flag, Harley gets or Flag gets separated from Harley. Harley, and I think too, like I think the the whole for this for this movie, in my personal opinion, in my humble opinion, attack me if you will. I think that there were too many sentimental moments that were just capped off with a joke. You know what I mean? Like I feel like. Yeah. Obviously, we didn't really have a huge foundation between Harley and Javelin, or if that was his name. But when he yeah, dies, yeah, she starts slapping him, and she's like, wait, hold, carry it for who? Carry it for who? And <laughs> and you're kind of like, like, there's a lot of comedy in the movie, and I, that's what James Gunn, like, it's essentially a, a DC movie written by Marvel. Like, that, that's what it was. Um, but there's a, lot, yeah. there's a lot of comedy in there, but I feel like a lot of the comedy was really, really forced. And personally i think the dick jokes were a bit too much yeah i oh, agree yeah. I, I i think that once again the comedy was too forced and it was really frustrating um like it, it was funny there were some good moments but I, you definitely got the vibe that they were trying to force a joke mm-hmm. and it just was like they're just trying too hard and it was like uh it just it's just like when you tell a joke and it falls short it, that definitely happened yeah um it, it, i i think that uh the part where they're walking through the jungle and it's uh uh peacemaker peacekeeper peacemaker peacemaker P- P- is, is it peacekeeper yeah. or peacemaker 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 okay so peacemaker and bloodsport are walking through and he's like why don't you eat a bag of dicks and then he's like if this whole place was covered in dicks i and someone told me to eat these for blah 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 i'd eat all of them. and i'm like oh, okay and then later in the movie there's there's they're taking out all the re- the rebel people or the free fighters or whatever and there's this dude who's just free balling it and he gets his wanky shot off. And then later after during Harley's sex scene, she's like RIP to that monster between your legs. I'm like, Oh my gosh, enough. Enough. Well, that made sense to me for Harley. Cause Harley is like that literally no filter, but it's but like, yeah, it's the, like the you bag already, of dicks on the beach is just, yeah, there was that, that went on. I think that just went on way too long. Like that was just annoying. Like it was like, okay, ha ha. Then directly right after that, we see a full on wiener in our faces. Like, and then after that, Harley has that scene that she's talking about again. I'm like, bruh, I'm so, I'm so, I don't need to hear it anymore. Like, okay, two dick jokes. That's fine. Um, so let's talk about, let's talk about the story in general. Let's, uh, let's, uh, Brady, you want to rattle off what kind of like what the plot was? Uh, yeah. So they are going, the Waller sets up two teams to, of the suicide squad to go in and destroy what's it called hohenheim and Jotunheim. Jotunheim, yeah to, to, yeah to still and to stop the this country apparently 
from uh, having a weapon of mass destruction, WMD. Mm. And that's their job is to go in and take it out. But then they find some things out about Hohenheim that uh, extend further than what Waller told them. Yeah. And so kind of on that, like we were talking about how the two teams got set up and, and stuff like that. Yeah. All in all, when they end up fighting the giant, fighting the monster or the, the weapon of mass destruction, if you will, that was in Hohenheim. Jotunheim. Jotunheim. Jotun. Jotun. Jotunheim. Heim. Jotunheim. But when they when they fight the giant starfish monster, what was his name? Um, Starro. What was it? Starro. Starro. Starro the Destroyer or Conqueror. The Conqueror. The Conqueror. When they're fighting him, I kind of have an issue that there's like three or four of them. And that's kind of why I wish they would have taken more of the characters and had a little bit larger of a group fighting him to make it to me seem a little bit more reasonable that they're fighting this giant monster and there's only like three or four of them that actually do anything major to it. It would have been nice to see some extra characters throwing some other stuff into there. So I wish they would have killed like as many characters <coughs> in the beginning. What did you say, uh, I wish we... You what? what? Nothing. Not what? pissed about Captain Boomerang getting killed off. We, we weren't there yet. <laughs> but that's what well, I mean. Just some of those characters that they did kill off, they could have used, um, that I think would have been cooler to see more people fighting um, in the end than just mm. the small group that we saw. Because that was a pretty big monster in person to fight. So I think having more characters would have been more um it would have been more fun and cool, I think, to to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um so with Captain Boomerang, like I personally I'm sorry, I don't like this Captain Boomerang. The one from Suicide Squad kills the Justice League, the two second or however long um like and I'm not a huge Captain Boomerang fan. There I know there's the one from Arrow slash Flash and he so bad he's he's so bad um but uh the one from suicide squad kills the justice league i think he's pretty sick i like him a lot like he teleports yeah with boomerang i think it's really cool um yeah it's just it's not that i care about this actor playing captain boomerang it's just like he's such a big flash villain that they yeah. there's tons of d-list villains that they could have used for cannon fodder seeing how they killed off that whole team one yeah. Not a B rank villain for the Flash, yeah. right? And I kind of agree with Forrest because you had him in the first one and he survived the first one. He should have been a bigger component, even if he did die. Still, he could have been a bigger component in this second one. Yeah, yeah, that and and that's really weird too because like Killer or yeah, Croc is gone. Enchantress is obviously just June Moon now. Uh. Katana Still must be like, to Diablo. Kata- Diablo's like dead though, isn't he? Didn't he die? Didn't he blow yeah. up and die? Don't know. Yeah, he 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 sacrifices himself to to during the fight to win. Basically, he was he was like their nuke, if you will. Because I don't think that for someone like Diablo, I don't think they'll. I just don't think that they they bring him back because obviously they're wiping. They're trying to retcon or not retcon, but just well maybe retcon that first movie because. Dead shot's gone. Now flag is dead. What do you guys think of that? I was that mad. That hurt to watch. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. How this the... that <sighs> sucked. Because you know I like Rick Flag. Yeah. We even, even talked about me um cosplaying him for Comic Con. Yeah. Just because it was it was a good costume and I like the character. Yeah. And I did like, I will like, I, I will say that I did like that they did where they started listing off the things where if you do this or this, you die. Yeah. If you do this or this, you die. If you have like, I forgot what Harley said specifically. And then he's like, no, no, we won't kill you <laughs> for yeah. that. You know? Yeah. I, I, like I think that. she said something like about double before. parking. Yeah. Yeah. Something and then like if you, that. if you sneeze or something about washing your hands, you die or something. like Yeah. That. If you sneeze without covering your mouth, yeah. you die yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So I did like that humor. I was bummed that, flag died but i definitely i will say like from a story standpoint i liked the way it happened and yeah. even 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 like when they were listing off that stuff because i saw that in a trailer and i was like oh my gosh but then the vibe was right because i could completely see harley doing that with batman in the injustice if they have someone locked up and batman saying you can't do this you can't do that i could see harley doing that 
I could mm-hmm. I could see her right there doing that. So I'm like, okay, that may uh, okay. Um, now let's get to we're just we're jumping all over the place. Um, let's get to what do you guys think of the people that were on the team? So Peacemaker, Bloodsport, obviously Harley, Ratcatcher Two, Polka Dot Man. Am I missing anybody? Oh, um, and King, King Shark. Shark. Yeah, King Shark. Um, you're talking of the ones that make it to the end of the movie, right? Not yeah. like all of them. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Forrest, go ahead. You can go ahead on this one. Um, I thought it was a pretty good cast. Uh, I just didn't like the origin story behind the Rat Catcher too, because Rat Catcher is a Batman villain, and obviously he's in Gotham. He didn't mm-hmm. start off in what Portugal? I can't. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was but Portugal. I, yeah. Yeah, I like the whole idea of the daughter. I it made me sad as hell when she was talking about how he overdosed because that's fucked. Yeah. Um, polka dot man kind of scared me. All right, <laughs> freaking. <laughs> we're all gonna die. I hope so. I hope I so. Know. And then he's like, "I thought you were the crazy <laughs> one." Oh, I am. Like yeah, he wasn't he uh the guy Harvey was interrogating in Dark Knight. He yeah. was. But I completely forgot about that. Yeah, he, he was. Told, the, I was wondering where I recognized him. Yeah, from. he was the guy Harvey was uh interrogating and. In. Yeah, cool. I saw a meme where that supposedly that that actor is the key to the multiverse with Marvel and DC. Um, mm. let's see. As I was not surprised when they killed off Polka Dot Man because as soon as I. He said, "Oh, I can launch these internet interdimensional polka dots at people, and it like incinerates through everything. Like, oh, he's gonna do some major damage to Starro, and then he's gonna die. Mm. And what happened? He cut off his leg, and then <laughs> smush. Yeah, I. What did you think, Brady? Before I go off on okay, my tangent, so my biggest thing is, I, I didn't like King Shark. I wish." He wouldn't have been as caveman esque with like his speaking and everything. I wish he would have been like a little bit more intelligent than that in a sense. And then I wish we would have got the King Shark from Flash, like just the looks wise, like more the that... ripped one. The what? The ripped one. Yeah, the one that's all scarred up. He's ripped. That still gives me nightmares. That King Shark. But this King that's Shark. You're afraid look... of the. You're afraid of sharks, though, Brady. Yes, I know, but this one I was like, it just wasn't. I, I think it could have. I, I think he could have been more aggressive and better. But um, other than that, as far as King Shark, um, uh, cool. It was good to see him. Like I, once again, I hope if there's another Suicide Suicide Squad movie, I'd totally be fine with him being in it again. Um, Polka Dot Man, um, I like the. I like that actor. Like he always does a good job and he sells his roles really well. So I really like Polka Dot Man. Like it was cool. He was funny, great, and I love how he pictured every enemy as his mom. Because I feel like that's definitely a tactic people use. Like they picture people like that, like like their worst enemy, you know, and it makes it easier. That, um, that I bar scene was disturbing. I actually really liked Ratcatcher. Um, I liked her story, like the backstory and everything for her, and the way they like implemented her. I thought it was really cool. Um, Harley, Harley. I don't know. I kind of have not the best vibe toward Harley on this movie because it just felt like they were forcing too much of her backstory again like they did in birds of prey it well yeah kind of and, and and that that sorry to cut you off but i for, first of all um i'm gonna have to cut this soon because my laptop's gonna die and i forgot to plug it in and second of all i feel like harley she kind of annoyed me in this one like that that's just me mm-hmm. that's just me i love harley quinn not as much as catwoman because catwoman is the greatest comic book female ever but Please. You know, you, you got to love Harley Quinn, but I just feel like, yeah, we we have three movies. We get it. You're still staying, trying to get away from the, the grasp of the Joker and get away from people like the Joker. We get that. We had that all throughout Birds of Prey. We don't need another monologue after you shoot a guy looking for red flags. That We get it. You could have just said you remind me way too much of somebody else. And you could have just had that be that. Um mm. Well, and then all the cartoons as she's breaking out of the, the palace area. And I, like you said, I like Harley Quinn, too. I really do. Um, but it just seemed like, why didn't you just send Harley Quinn in by herself if she could do all of what she did? She literally took out. That's what I'm palace. saying. Like when when yeah. she when she gets uh, when she gets captured after killing the guy, 
like, and that's another thing is Harley suddenly has these superpowers where she can jump like two stories and she well, can like float in the air. And don't tell me, oh, well, it's comic because they're not going off of the comic stuff. They're just, they're straight no, up. Just, they're not. Ivy turned her in metahuman, essentially. But she, Ivy's not in this. So far as we know. So that's not, that's not an explanation because if I didn't see it in the show or they don't tell you that that's what happened, then I'm not going off of that. Like I'm right. not, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh well, that happened in the comics, so that's fine, unless they reference that and say, okay, Ivy's in this world. I'm not going to go with that, like, because yeah, if 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 Harley is being brought in and Harley's a metahuman, Harley should have been Harley and King Shark, and we'll even just say, uh, 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 Polka Dot Man should have been able to kill Star all by themselves. Harley being a metahuman, but then that kind of defeats the purpose because. If you need a metahuman on the Suicide Squad to do your stuff, like granted there are metahumans, but someone powerful who has and can do all that stuff, bruh, just call Superman. Call Batman. Like it's it defeats the, the, the purpose there because, again, Harley could have just, she takes down all these people in like two different movies. She did what she did. She had her hallway scene. And mm-hmm. they send her to like deal the finishing blow to Starro. And it's like, okay, I get that, but like, why not lead with that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, cause when she gets captured before she, um, before she gets tortured, she could have just taken out all those guys. Like that room was completely full of weapons that she could have used to kill all those dudes. But she decided yeah. to get, like she got captured anyway. And it's like, yep. but that, that was my spiel about Harley. Like, I just feel like, like I, I, I like Harley. I just feel like, like obviously she is this universe's the equivalent to, to this universe's RDJ. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. the DCEU, it's 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 Margot Robbie. She's carrying this right now. Um Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. But it's it's still frustrating because it like once again, it really bothered me when it, the a lot of the Harley scenes, like her going up to that uh mansion and everything and then being there for as long as she did. And then the whole breakout scene just kind of bothered me. Granted, I know she's like got the the the, the flexibility and the gymnast stuff of what she did, choking out the dude and you know using her wrist to lift up and unlock everything. But after that, the whole cartoons and, and all that stuff just it kind of bothered me. I was like, really? This just for that whole Harley Quinn scenes, it just felt like another Harley Quinn movie. It didn't feel like Suicide Squad. All right. Well- I enjoyed the hallway scene. To be honest with the conversion from the blood splatters to just what she's seeing in her head because mm. Harley's fucking insane. Yeah. So I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was visually appealing to me. Um get some light. It doesn't it doesn't surprise me that she was able to do that once she broke out, to be honest, because she can. She has. And I mean just Harley's kind of is just badass by herself most of the time. And we saw that in Birds of Prey, so why not showcase someone else who can who can have their moment? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, but out of overall, I mean, I'm getting some lag here, and I think we should end it here. Um, we'll just go around, everybody. What do you give it? I'm gonna give it out of. I personally, it's in my top three or four DCEU movies. I'm gonna give it like an eight point five. I'm giving it an eight point five. What about you, Forrest? Yeah, I'd say top three as well, and I I give it a, I give it a nine. Give it a nine. What about you, Brady? I'm gonna give it a solid a solid eight. Solid eight. It was good. Um, I re- I would probably watch it again at least one other time, and I'd recommend it to friends um, to at least see it. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with an eight. All righty, guys. Well, we are lagging really bad, so we'll cut it there. We'll definitely be back now that we can do this. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.